Welcome to Excel Med Strict number 1139. Hey, if you want to download this workbook file and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have a, just a quick trick, but it's one of my favorite tricks. We're going to learn how to create names from selection and apply names. Now, up on the Formula tab, there's a whole group called Define Names. Now, let's look at this formula here. In our last video, 138, we saw how to do future value. I'm going to hit the F2 key to put this into edit mode. If I'm looking at this formula, I see some cell references, F5, G5, B5. But what I'd really like is I'd like the name. So if I uh, copy this and print it down here or in a Word document somewhere so that people actually knew the name of the arguments. If I click in this argument, notice it's rate, NPER, and then this one is PV. I'd like to actually have those there and use define names. But here's the deal. Usually when you define a name, you click in the cell, you go up to the name box, and then you give it a name and hit Enter. But watch this. I want to do, I want to name this cell rate, this cell right here NPR, and this cell PV. It just so happens that the name I want, the define name, is above. Now, here's the really cool trick. I'm going to highlight these two cells, and I'm going to highlight these at the same time. So I've already highlighted these. Now I'm going to hold the Control key, and I'm going to highlight those. Non-contiguous cells highlighted, or cells not next to each other. Now I go up to create from selection with means create names, or I use the keyboard Control Shift F3. And no way. It knows, or it's guessing. Sometimes it guesses wrong. It says, I want to take the name from the top row. That's going to be called PV. That's going to be called rate. That's going to be called NPR. Click OK. You got to be kidding me. Now I can come up here and check that out. I use that little drop down and it highlights that cell instantly. PV, boom. Drop down, rate, and instantly I have it. Now I'd like to go here and apply those names. I don't want to have to do it by hand, so watch this. I'm going to highlight two cells. It might work with one, but I always highlight one extra cell. I go up, and there's not a keyboard for this. At least I don't know one for this. Define names. It's so hidden. It's apply name. Now, what is it going to do? What does apply names do? Well, when I click this, it actually looked a Let's move this over here. It actually looked in that cell, saw the cell references, searched through define names, and tried to find the actual names of those cell references. All three are highlighted. I simply click OK, and instantly F2, that formula has those defined names. I have applied those names into the formulas. Now I'm going to copy this in Edit Mode, Control-C, Escape. Come down here, type a space, Control-V. Another way to do that is apostrophe. Notice if I just pasted the formula in edit mode, it would be a formula and calculate. That apostrophe says whatever comes after is text. Still another way to actually show the formula from there, and this only works in Excel 2013, is to do formula text. So I type FOR down arrow tab. You've got to be kidding me and it will show the formula. Is that totally cool? All right, that was a little bit of fun with create names from selection, apply names. All right, uh, we'll see you next video.